Hi everyone, Plug Spinner here, and today we're going to be picking the Commando Blackout Padlock. Now, I did buy this padlock brand new, directly from Commando Lock, and unfortunately it came without a key. And this is not the fault of Commando Lock, it is the fault of UPS. Basically, they completely mangled the shipping um, envelope that this came in. Uh, when I went to go pick it up off my stoop, it had like a black residue all over it, almost as if it had been run over. Um, the contents inside of the envelope were completely squished, like the box this was in was flattened, this was outside the box. And um, because the shipping envelope was actually ripped, the key must have fallen out, which is why we don't have a key for this. Um, I did contact Commando Lock right after I received this package, and the founder, Pat Smith, actually reached out to me immediately and explained um, how sorry he was that this happened and that he was gonna send out a replacement lock immediately, which they did. Um, the replacement is not here yet because it's only been a couple days, but I figured we do not need the key to do a video on this. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna pick this lock open and then I'm gonna show you how you can also remove the shackle. Um, these padlocks are advertised as non-removable shackles. However, that's not actually true. You can still remove them. So first, we'll pick it open, and then I'll show you what you can do to remove the shackle. So we are using a bottom of keyway tensioner made by Lockpick Extreme, and an offset half ball Euro pick made by Southord. I believe they call them slimline picks though, not Euro picks. So we're just gonna go to the back of the core and slowly move down the pin stacks and try to get a couple clicks where we can. Um, I have picked this a few times, there's been several times where it took me a minute, less than a minute, and other times where it's taken upwards of five minutes. So we'll see, we'll see how it goes. All right, we got a couple clicks so far, but no false set, nothing like that. I will say there are five pins in this lock, um, many of which feel like security pins. Obviously we cannot gut this lock because it is a laminated padlock which is a little disappointing but it's still a very very nice lock it also has a pretty tricky keyway um oh we got it open but yeah like i said about the keyway right here you can't really fit anything in the top of the keyway so you're kind of forced to use bottom of the keyway and also you have to use i'm using a 22 thousandths pick which is just thin enough to fit around this little corner here. But I think any thicker than this and you're gonna have some trouble. So anyway, we're picked open. So what we do to remove the shackle is now we have to move the shackle 180 degrees and we have to re-lock the core. Okay, and once you re-lock it, the shackle will stay up. You will not be able to rotate it anymore. You can't take it out yet. And that's how you know you're in the right position. So now what we have to do is we have to pick it counterclockwise. We have just enough room that we should be able to get it open, but then we're gonna need to stick the pick in the middle to rotate it further because these guards are gonna block the, the tensioner from spinning. So let's go ahead and try to pick this open counterclockwise. I will say the counterclockwise pick, in my opinion, is a little bit harder, at least for this particular lock, but maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, we got a false set, let's see. I am looking through the camera, so this is a little difficult. And I think we got it, yep, we got it. So I'm gonna slowly remove this tension wrench, stick my pick right down the middle and rotate it all the way. Okay, and now the shackle is out. So when you want to put the shackle back in, you have to insert it the same way it came out, so like this. Um, this little cutout needs to be above the body though, and then you should be able to just rotate this back. And we did, and now the shackle is locked back in. And to close it, we have to pick it one more time clockwise again. So I will go ahead and do that again, just to bring the video full circle. And then that will be it. 
All right, so just going down the pin stacks again, trying to get a few clicks wherever we can. Um, not really pushing too hard because this lock does have serrated key pins. And if you pop that above the shear line, you're gonna have to start over. All right, no false set yet. And now we're open. We didn't get a false set that time. And so we can close the shackle, lock it back up, and we're back to where we started. So overall, this is a very nice padlock. Um, I don't know if you could see, but there is no spring tension anywhere in this lock, um, which I actually like. I think it's, it's pretty nice. I don't know, just the operation is very smooth, um, very satisfying to pick. So if you do have any questions about this lock, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, I would be happy to hear them. So you can also put that in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that is it. I hope you have a nice day. Thank you.